Deputies in Iredell County have seized more than two dozen dogs and their owner is now charged with animal cruelty. Investigators think the property west of Statesville was being used to train these dogs to fight. 1009's Dave Faraday spoke with people living nearby who think they may have even seen some of that training by the owner. Well, if you look behind me, you can see where the home is located at the end of this street behind that fence that you see there off in the distance. We did get a chance to talk with several neighbors here who described seeing the owner walking one of the dogs with a chain attached to it, pulling a weight. The sheriff deputy shared these images of the property west of Statesville off of Whitney Lane and the moment they arrested Claude Anthony Sanders Jr. They say the arrest was part of a federal investigation involving the U.S. Department of Agriculture into dog fighting. It's not good. Dan Boggs lives sure just down the street in the neighborhood made up of retirees and younger families. He recalls seeing the owner with one of the nearly two dozen dogs on the property. Yeah, with the dog, when he was walking the neighborhood, he had a big chain on it and a weight walking it up the road. I guess he was giving strength training. Deputies say several of the dogs had obvious scars and facial injuries. They shared these photos with some of the exercise equipment used to train and strengthen the dogs. At the home today, we could see where no trespassing and keep out signs have been posted. Sanders is charged with 24 counts of felony cruelty to animals and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And one of the lead investigators told me earlier he doesn't believe that the dog fighting was happening here. Instead, other areas across the Carolinas. He says that an animal rescue group has come in to help with those dogs. Reporting from Iredell County, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.